Hello Frenzy, my name is Kate Shirk and welcome back to Still Life. So, um, <laughs> I have to apologize right now. If you hear water dripping right now, um, because my, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you're new to the channel, I record these episodes weeks in advance, um, or a few weeks in advance, depending how my schedule's going, and this is during the time, so I'm recording this right when that cold snap has hit basically the entire country. Um, and I left water running, and yet somehow my um, hot water pipe is still frozen, still froze, which I'm really pissed off about. But I'm trying to let water run anyway, uh, and I've opened the hot water taps in order to keep some pressure coming through there to kind of loosen up whatever the ice. Um, it's just annoying. So hopefully that'll get taken care of and resolved. Um, I'm just irritated. <laughs> and it's, you know, they say leave some water running and it'll prevent the pipes from freezing. Well, only helps so much, apparently. Um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. We, we're not, we don't usually get, you know, five degree weather here where I live. So I guess, oh man, anyway. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, uh, we're just going to continue on with the story here because I'm not entirely sure what I should be doing. Let's see. That's something. Seems that everyone has one of these. I don't know what it was, but okay. I don't think there's anything left. No one's here. I've already looked at that. Hey. Gus! Yes. Hey, friend. What's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, there's been another murder. Where's the body? It's at the old lavatory. But you can't get there. The bridge that went there has been out for years. Listen, this is probably going to be the last time I ask you this. But can you do me a favor? <laughs> Why, I don't have the time right now. Time is the favor. Don't warn Skalnik right away. Just give me a head start. Can you do that for me? Okay, five minutes. No more. No less. Great. Fair. You take care of yourself. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Oh, oh yeah. Goodbye. Okay. Um, so that being said, I guess we'll go over there. If you can't use the bridge, where are we? Sure. Let's go to... I guess we'll have to use the bridge, well, or like the lever. There was a place I went to where there was a boat. Right? Like, I'm not insane. Did I go the wrong one? Let's go to the shore. that won't we to get to there if the bridge is out there we go see a murder there. 
Oh my. Wait, wasn't that a painting? Yeah, because we've already... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at this. Another ring. Weird. This one looks like it was made just recently. Okay. Oh shit. Oh god! <laughs> Well, thanks there, Doc Holiday. <laughs> okay. Um. Nope, I didn't want that. Let's go back down. What's this? Oh, God. Um. I can't read any of that, so we need... And there's no water. What about this? There we go. There's a puzzle with this. I just don't know how it works. because that'll just leave me out. Oh, for fuck's sake. His mechanics are a pain in my dick. The door is locked. So it's locked from the inside and the outside. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do those rings have anything to do with this? It doesn't look like it'll work. What if we do... That and then it doesn't look like it'll work. Well, that's not helpful at all, is it? Three liters. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. So it's gotta make the light work. Click on the red faucet under the tank to empty the tank and place. Wait, okay, so we fill the bucket again. Click the red faucet at bottom of tank to drain one four units in the tank. So it doesn't look like it'll work. doesn't make any sense because it automatically just does it so you need it at just the right height so that just goes back in Hold on. This doesn't make sense. Okay, hold on. With four, okay, so we have to get the water line to here to get it to work, right? So. There's nothing I'm missing, right? I just gotta... Okay, so, let's do this. It'll fill with three. Okay, so that fills with three. Click on the red faucet. Take the... 
click on the red faucet under the tank that automatically fills the three units leaving two. Okay, so we'll empty that. Two units goes in here. Then we fill this up. And then we turn it on and it'll bingo. That's what it was. Okay, it really wasn't as hard as I was making it seem. I made it much harder than it needed to be. That was my bad. Okay. So now we can go over here. Okay, that wasn't hard at all. They made it seem harder, but it really wasn't. Okay, so now we can get in the sewer. Oh, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Is this... Oh. managed to pull that one. sure it's probably like a puzzle and no one knows what's happening, but... Nope, wrong way. Okay, was this where we started off? No, I don't think it was. I think it's over here we start, yeah? So that is there. That is there. Where did we start? Was it here? That's where it was. That's where we started. So I think I started... Yeah, there's a dead end there. one thing real fast here just to see what's over here nothing okay just so it's actually really easy okay fun so um now we 
I get to figure out who's what. door. says here to um it says to save here i hope that doesn't okay because it doesn't reset so let me save real fast just to make sure i have it right so let's just save over this yes we'll over right okay so apparently so apparently Doesn't look like it'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Click rod once. Okay, I see here. So we gotta figure out. There we go. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to move this bad boy. So this is where it gets difficult. Click. So.
got seven, eleven, eight, ten, nine, two, one, five is twice. Six is twice. So then we have eight, eleven, two, three, ten, nine, eleven, one. There we go. Stop it. Won't budge. Mm. This will budge. There we go. Okay, so then, there we go. Okay. Got it. That was my shoulder pops. Oh, well, that's not fun. Grandpapa. Wake up. Wake up, Alice. Look, I'm glad you followed the breadcrumbs, Mr. McPherson. I wanted you to witness my latest masterpiece. Uh-oh. Wake up, dear. I wouldn't want you to miss the pain. This painting is called Death Do Us Part. The woman in this painting appears to utterly Crazy. disregard the suffering of the man kneeling on the ground beside her. Again, we see the recurrence of a dark tunnel, with an ominous figure lurking in the shadows. It seems as though Ackerman is attempting to recreate a moment in his childhood with undertones of rape and suffering. Jeez. Note the position of the man in this painting. He is vulnerable, weak, and exposed. Is this how Ackerman himself felt at the time? Cleansing of a soul. For the first time in Ackerman's work, a woman is depicted in a seductive manner. She floats on the canvas, her red cloak rippling in the wind, in contrast to the dead calm of the background. Red, representing passion and seduction, dominates the foreground, but is surrounded by ominous tones of dark purples, grays, and blacks the colors of death. The woman's eyes are missing, perhaps representing increasing confusion and anger towards the women in his life. Bridge over troubled water. The woman in the foreground seems troubled and stares directly at us, seemingly unaware of the turmoil surrounding her. The vast and tumultuous sky, usually representative of freedom and openness, instead feels oppressive and looms eerily over the landscape. Is this Mark trying to get back at his mother? This painting is called Streets of Prague. Ackerman only lived in Prague for a few years. We can see the recurrence of a dark alleyway. Look at the colors in this painting. It's almost as if the walls are bruised and battered. 
Clearly, Ackerman had a very negative view of the city. A sinner's pardon. The woman depicted here is clearly in a vulnerable and submissive position. She clutches herself as she struggles to achieve forgiveness. Perhaps one might see this as Ackerman's vision of how his mother should have asked for forgiveness for failing to protect him. The first one is called Abandoned. To the right, you can see a woman lying down, drunk, seemingly unaware of her surroundings. In the center of the picture are two eyes, eerily cutting through the darkness. We know that Mark Ackerman was abused by his father, and felt that his mother, who knew what was happening, stayed passive and let the abuse continue. This is mirrored in the painting where the woman depicted seems unwilling to react to the approaching danger. This one is called The Pupil. The title suggests that Mark connected with the subject of this painting. Although trapped in his own prison, Ackerman was able to find escape through his pupil, mm -hmm. represented by the light reflecting through the window onto the subject. He is using this man to escape from his own prison. The title is Mindless. This man is literally mindless. Note the stitches on his forehead where he was presumably lobotomized. This represents Mark's worst nightmare, being trapped in a prison of both body and mind. Although standing in a corner surrounded by darkness, an open window sheds light onto the scene. In a cruel irony, however, the subject is unaware of this window to freedom and remains a prisoner. Ah, Beatrice. The woman depicted here, a nurse, seems to represent Mark's ideal woman, and perhaps she was. Attentive, loving, and seductive, she is surrounded by angelic hues of white. Her skin tone is rich and alive, in contrast to his earlier works. This one is called Dr. Hyde, and is the first in his L.A. series. We know that Ackerman was committed to a mental hospital in the 30s. The man in this painting represents Mark's psychiatrist. It is a caricature of a dishonest man, whose gaze is masked behind thick glasses. The painting has an air of condescension. Look at his smile. He looks like the village idiot. It is obvious that Mark had no respect or admiration for this man. This painting is called Moonshine Traffic, his second painting in Chicago. One senses that Mark is comfortable here. The sun is rising, pushing out the darkness, Notice the warm oranges, yellows, and reds. Perhaps Mark is finally at peace and feels at home in Chicago. Uh, this one here is called Disturbed Sanctuary and is the first in his Chicago series. One of the unusual aspects of this painting is the perspective from which it is created. One feels as though Ackerman is an unwanted guest in the room, almost hiding behind the curtain. The woman shown in this painting appears blissfully unaware of him or the darkness that surrounds her sanctuary of light. I don't think that's what you think it is. Oh wait, why am I doing this? Mia, do you feel up for a few Sorry. questions? Sure. This one will probably be a combo just because that last one was so quick. And this should be the last bit. Hold on, let me do this. Fuck. Can you tell me, is this you in the picture? Yes, it is. Where and when was it taken? I don't remember anyone taking a picture of me at that party. It was a rave in an abandoned warehouse somewhere. It was a few weeks ago. Let me do something real fast, just to see. Oh yeah, we'll just make this a long one. Who were you with? I was with... Sorry, Mia. Stephanie was with you. Yes. How did you meet Stephanie? I met her at work. So, you, Cynthia, and Stephanie worked at the club? Yes. Who's the fourth girl? I don't know her real name. She was known as Queen of Secrets. The rule was never to give our real names to the clients or to the staff. But me, Steph, and Cynthia didn't respect the rule. We often partied. We got pretty close. But she respected the rule and never mixed with us. You were Lady Temptation. 
Yes. And Steph was Baroness of Blood, and Cynthia, Mistress of Pain. What went on at the club? Well, Queen of Secrets would host the clients in the room with four statues. The clients would change their clothes. Mm -hmm. Change their clothes? Yes. They would put on Victorian-style cloaks with top hats, and they would wear masks. Masks? Yes. It was a rule never to know their true identity. These men were probably rich and powerful. It was to prevent us girls from blackmailing the clients. Plus, it heightened their experience with all the role-playing possibilities. It put them at ease to know that we didn't know them. I the bet it bloody did. Absolutely insane. Thanks, Mia. I want you to stay with Richard for a while, because I might have more questions for you. Is that all right with you? It's no problem. Okay, so... I want to see something here. M.A. I just want to see one thing here, because... Yeah, there we go. There's something about these paintings. The signature doesn't look the same on all of them. Those two do. It's like it's almost like two different people, so maybe that was his pupil took over. Wait, are these... Oh, I see. I mean, I get your signature's not the same every time, but... Maybe I'm reading too much into it. And maybe... I don't know. I, don't, I think maybe I'm reading too much into it, honestly. Which is probably what I am doing. Hmm. Okay. I have a feeling... Do you have any more information about Mark Ackerman? All I have is a book that the Department of Fine Arts printed. Okay. May I have a copy? Sure, honey. It's on the presentation stand in the center of the exhibition. Why the sudden interest? It has something to do with my case. What? In what way? <laughs> what? The killer left two messages at two of the crime scenes. Disturbed Sanctuary and a Sinner's Pardon were written on the walls. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what they meant until now. You mean the killer knows about Mark Ackerman? Yes. That seems unlikely. Ackerman's pretty much unknown. This is the first time he's going to be exposed to the public. That's why you have to give me a list of all the people who sold you the paintings, and a list of the people from the Fine Arts Department who are involved in this project. Can you do that for me? No. Sure, but it'll take time. Thanks. See you later. Okay, I'll go work on that list. Okay, where are these books at? The center of the exhibit, right? No, no, no. I can't use it. Richard left with the keys. Okay, so where are these books at? Oh, wait, is this it? Right here? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Did I take that or is...
Hmm. Okay. So we got a book. I guess we leave then. Office. I don't know what to do otherwise. Okay. I don't know why it wants me to take that, but I will. Oh, it didn't even tell me to pick a thing. Claire? What are you doing here? Why do I have the feeling I just caught you with your hand in the cookie jar? <laughs> I just came up here to get some blank report sheets. I'm all out downstairs, and there you are. Uh... Claire, what's your level of clearance? Level two. Oh, no. Please don't tell me you were trying to find files using my name. No. <laughs> oh, I found them. I just can't access them. It's level four clearance only. Oh, I'd love to read them. Don't tell me you have a lead. Actually, I might have one, yes, but I won't go into details just yet. I've been taught to never give any details before you have all the facts. Oh, really? Yeah. Who's the idiot that taught you that? You did at Quantico. Remember? Yes. I remember. That was the joke. <laughs> Anyways, I really need to get my hands on those files. Clearance four, huh? I know one person who has that level of clearance. Todd. We never had this conversation, <laughs> and I certainly never said that you could try the computer in his office instead of trying to get me in trouble. Yeah, I had a feeling... Victoria? Hmm? Uh-oh. You never call me Victoria unless it's serious. You usually cut corners, I know, but why do something that might actually cost you your job? Because I feel responsible for Stephanie's death. Well, that wasn't really your okay, fault. Okay, now how is that possible? Yeah. When I chased our murderer on the rooftop, I had a chance to take him out and I didn't. Why? Did you freeze? I know that happens sometimes, even to the best. I'm sorry, but that sounded like a male impotent speech. <laughs> Victoria, I'm being serious. I, mean, I froze, sort of. I was hanging over the ledge. Victoria, I can't believe we're having this conversation. That's not a shot, and you know it. Yeah. How is your falling to your death any good for the case? Thanks for the tip. Oh, and we never had this conversation. We better not have had this conversation. Never mind. Well, good luck, sweetie. And when you get the final facts, make sure you think of me and share. Hmm. Of course I will. Thanks for being you. boss's office. It's locked, of course. I'll bet he has keys. Well, hold on. Let's talk to him, because I'll bet money. Hey, do you think I could borrow those keys? Over my dead body, senorita. I mean, fair. Hang on a sec here. So I'll have to distract him. I don't need to do that again. I don't need to do that again. Uh oh. What a horrible mess. If only... Oh, look, there's a, a custodian right here. I'm sorry, but I made a terrible mess at the coffee machine. Oh, that machine is so stupid. 
stupid. Okay, so we'll use that while he's distracted. The boss's office. It's locked, of course. Yes, I'm aware. That's why we have keys. Okay. Can I take that? Thank you. Something tells me I'll need it. Like I said, if it gives you the option to take something, usually the best thing to do is take it. Oh, goodness. Okay. So there's probably a safe in there. Now we're going to have to figure out how... I don't need that. Okay. Damn, it's password locked. I need to go directly to the archives downstairs. Oh, for God's sakes. Um... Archives downstairs. Yay. I guess was that I guess B2 because that would be what it is. So let's see, is that over here? Peach. I never use mixed public washrooms. They're just too icky. Okay, well. I guess we'd have to go in here, won't we? A reanimator deck. They're wicked. This December, wow. Even God would say, I didn't make those. A reanimator deck. They're wicked. I don't even know what that is. Okay, hang on. I don't know what the hell I need to go to the archives for, but okay. I guess we'll go back up to eight then. It's a print scanner. I need one of Todd's prints. Hmm. Well, I just so happen to have a mug of his right here. So there's that. Todd. Damn, it's password locked. I need to go directly to the archives downstairs. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's do this. So, let's do this. I'll have to use the fingerprint thing again. Oh, here I had it. Okay. I can't just use the brush. Okay, we'll find. Oh, shit. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. That won't work. This works. That won't work. This will do nicely for there prints. We go. Okay, so I did have doing that wrong. Okay, so we have that. So am I gonna have to use that reanimator thing downstairs? Okay, anything else? Nothing. Okay, so let's look at this security key for the elevator. Oh, the archives. Okay, I got it. 
So I can't get in his computer, but I can get in his safe. So there we go. That makes more sense. Okay, so I use this. Bingo. This door leads to the bomb squad room. It's electronically locked. Maybe if I jolt the circuits, it will open. I don't think I need to be in the bomb squad room. Door's locked. It leads to the archives room security corridor. The security panel for this door must be on the other side. <laughs> so is it this thing? That won't work. Well, that doesn't make any sense. This door leads to the bomb squad room. It's electronically locked. Maybe if I jolt the circuits, it will open. Okay, hang on a second. What was the screw? <laughs> I need to get to the circuits, and it's not by using press-ons or by using a dime. Huh. Okay, so I need a screwdriver. Wonderful. I guess the janitor would probably have one. Since he's still in there, run real quick. And I realize I would need there's anything else on there I needed. There we go. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else I can grab? Are we sure? Are we positive? Okay, because I'd like to be on with my life now. Okay. A1 assault rifle with forward assist and a birdcage flash suppressor holds a 20 round mag. The boys in SWAT have all the fun. That's so ridiculous. Oh shit. Um. Hold on. Oh shit. Are we playing a game? Oh, I guess not. Peach. Oh my god. And he goes back away. Hold on a second. I'm not taking these off with my nails. They're press-ons. Okay, um... Now let's try it. That's what it was, okay. I should probably grab that gun because I don't like that that's just sitting there. Um. <laughs> no way I'll walk blindly through a field of deadly lasers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. That's okay.
deadly. No way I'll walk blindly through a field of deadly lasers. It's not... Oh, for God's sakes. So what, do we need the robot again? Hang on. Come on. Did I hit like a... No way I'll walk blindly through a field of deadly lasers. Can we not turn the lasers off, maybe? I have to activate a robot first. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well then let's try it. Is that what I had to do? For fuck's sake. This is a whole other trick, so here we go. Fuck! God dang it! That's gonna take forever, okay. literally taking me hours. I keep doing that because I can't remember.
not fuck this up. just have to go straight, right? Keep going. Oh, yes! Got it! Finally! It only took me six fucking hours, but I got it. There we go. Haha! -ha, let's get out of here. I never want to do that again. Hold on. I'm saving this shit, because I don't want to do that ever again. Save game. Hell fucking yeah. Okay. Weird. It looks like something from Mission Impossible, doesn't it? Catalog index search results for subjects Ackerman and Perlovka Ripper. Okay. Not found. Was erased on August 13th, 1932. Uh, not found. Was erased on August 13th, 1982. Yeah, something's fucking up. How could a file possibly have been erased in 1932? It was destroyed, let's be frank. Missing. Got by consulting witness Gustav McPherson. That was me. Or granddad there. So it seems like he took it. Has been found. Oh, zero files. Washington, D.C., USA. Those documents my grandfather stole. I wonder if we have them somewhere. Probably. McPherson! Uh oh. McPherson, you have a lot of explaining to do. So what now, Browning? Don't bullshit me, McPherson. You know you're not allowed down here. Listen, I'm actually getting things done as opposed to sitting on my ass and waiting for something to happen. Well, that's your job. It's to profile the killer. To try and guess his next move, not chasing murderers in dark alleys with a 4x4. Four four. You know, I think you've seen too many movies. Tell me something. Who's gonna pay for all the equipment you damaged down here? Oh, for fuck's sakes, just bill me, okay? I have no choice now but to suspend you. You'll have to justify your actions in front of the disciplinary committee. Okay. Actually, don't bother. I quit. That seems... Oh, that's just what I expected from you. A quitter. You're nothing but a little rich girl who, when she doesn't get things her way, just quits. Fuck you, Browning. You don't know me. Maybe, but I know you're not getting away with this. I think I am, or a certain list of names of senators and high officials will go public. A list of names belonging to a certain S and M club? Hey, wasn't your name on that list too? Yeah, I caught that one. How dare you! Just stay clear of me, Browning, or the press will have a field day. Hey, are you married? You little bitch! That's little rich bitch to you, Browning. Okay. It's a bitch girl. Uh, 
Uh, I guess we'll go here. We'll probably have to go back to Dad's house. Pat! I gotta go find those files. So did my grandfather get rid of them? Where I saw something. I must have fixed it. Okay. Dad? <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, sorry. <sighs> Excuse me. be asleep. turn that into a whole other room if that were me. Make it like a little secret library or something, honestly. What's this? There's a lump here. I need something sharp to cut through, but I don't want to damage the painting. Um, do you have a knife? Okay, I need a knife. A knife! <laughs> um... I could really go for vodka right now. Okay, a great combo. A shot of ice cold vodka, a glass of good red wine while dipping in the tub. I'll get to that later. Ah, 
Damn it, I keep hitting that. Fuck. Oh, what the? Oh. Okay then. That was... What a stupid place for an X-Acto knife. That's how Ken gets cut. <laughs> So, uh, Barbie takes a knife once in a while, or Ken gets cut. <laughs> One of my grandfather's old paintings. It's from when he was in Paris, I think. Well, look at that, Grandpa. I was living a nightmare. Edith's suffering had just ended, and mine was only beginning. I took to the streets, blinded by sorrow. Why couldn't I protect her? What if I hadn't taken the case? But Milena's sweet voice brought me back to reason. She suggested we hide somewhere, since the police were sure to be looking for me. Vladana's place was the safest spot, but we couldn't stay for long. We all had our reasons for leaving Prague. As for me, I wanted to get back at the bastard. We got out of the city on a small boat, and a couple of Roman's friends set us up with a ride to another town. From there, we took a train to Le Havre, France. We bought four tickets for New York City. America wasn't the country I had left behind. Poverty was at an all-time high, and the economy at an all-time low. We managed to get in through some of my connections. Then I got this in the mail. One article was about a series of murders in Chicago that were the same as the ones in Prague. I contacted mm. Chicago authorities, but they wanted more proof. Even so, it was enough for them to confront Herbert Ackerman. He countered with an offer they couldn't refuse. Money, lots Herbert. of it. Ackerman's name was safe, but they forced him to commit Mark to an institution. Mm. Fearing blame for the murders, I crept into the offices and stole any documents that might protect me. I found a full confession signed by Ackerman telling the story of his son. That bastard is in the loony bin where he deserves to be. I heard that they moved out west. Some years after, a cop from L.A. contacted me about a case. Strange murders of prostitutes, badly mutilated. I sent him what I could, but I told him I wasn't going near it. I wasn't going to sacrifice the one I loved again. Milan and I got married and settled down in Chicago. I went back to the ordinary missing persons and cheating husband cases. And gladly, too. Mm. Working, uh, March 4th. 4th, 1956. Melina was tending to the flowers and I was mowing the lawn when the phone rang. It was a cop from LA. My heart started beating very fast and my palms filled with sweat and it wasn't because I was mowing the lawn. His name was Michael Harrison and he quickly confirmed my greatest fear. He was working a serial murder case and he was at a loss. The only lead he had was me. I asked him how could I possibly be a lead in his case at this point my heart was drumming and I was sweating bullets. Harrison asked me if the name Ackerman meant anything. My heart stopped and my sweat turned to ice, shivers down my spine, sending shivers down my spine. I knew this day was coming. I knew that bastard was coming to come back and haunt me. I knew I should have killed that son of a bitch when I had the chance. However, Harrison was more interested in Ackerman Sr. I hadn't met the ambassador when I was in Prague, but now he was the governor of California. Harrison seemed to be after him and not Mark. I told him that it was Mark and couldn't be Ackerman, the father. He said the contrary because Mark Ackerman was in a mental institution, couldn't possibly be the killer. We both argued for a few minutes, but his theory made sense, and so did mine. We were going nowhere. He asked me to come down to L.A. and help him with the case. I said that I wouldn't go near it. His case was oddly familiar. Five dead prostitutes, all of which were stabbed and eviscerated. The only difference was that the killer in L.A. kept body parts and the victim's hands or feet. Harrison kept insisting to come down to L.A. to a point where I threatened hang to hang up, where I threatened to hang up. He then agreed to stop harassing me. He asked me to send him anything I had about my old case, so I sent him the FBI files I stole with the Ackerman confession and all. I was surprised to feel so much relief when I sent the damn things away. I don't know, but I finally found, had the feeling that it wasn't my problem anymore. I told Harrison to watch his back, specifically he thinks Hubert Ackerman is involved. I still don't buy it. Maybe Mark has a people or someone he influences on the outside. Like I said before, it's not my problem anymore. Okay. Hello? Hi, sweetie, it's me. Hey, what's up? I answered the phone at your desk because the damn thing kept ringing. Mm -hmm. 
Anyways, this guy named Vaclav something was a little hysterical. He said that he heard a scream and some noises coming from his neighbor's apartment. I figured it might be important or you might know what he was talking about. Yes, I do, thanks. I'll check it out. Oh, did you find anything in the files you were looking to access? Yes, but not as breathtakingly revealing as I'd anticipated. But it's given me a new lead. I think I'm going to L.A. Uh -oh. L.A.? Why L.A.? It'd be too long to explain, but I'll fill you in as soon as I get the chance. Before you leave, I hope. I'll try. Anyways, I gotta see what's wrong over at the campus. Okay, sweetie. You be careful. I always am. Bye. Bye. Okay. So we go to the campus. Where are we going? Yeah, campus, right? Any pots? Agent Victoria McPherson. I need assistance. Ghostbusters, yes, what do you want? Please give me the address and location. I'm at the university. I'm. Oh, yeah. Uppercut, uppercut, Tommy Z. Ooh, who is it? Let's find out who's right. Still be alive. Kolar didn't make it. Hey, that's Mia's purse. Now this I might think come in I handy. have an idea who it is. Oh, there we go. Where did he take Mia? Think, Vic. Think! The messages he leaves behind. Of course, the paintings! I know who it is, and I predicted this. I'm pretty sure I did. If it'll let me go in there. I don't need to go there. Okay, then why did it give me that option? But okay. Don't rush or anything. Okay. You're still out here smoking? Yeah, 
I have a feeling I know who it is, and I think I made this prediction already. I can use Richard's computer to help me find the possible location. Wiped clean. Okay, um, here we go. Let's see here. Another one from the Chicago series. That's probably in the harbor. Okay. So let's see here. This is a murder portrait, and our killer hasn't used it yet. That must be Frantiska, the fifth murder victim found under the bridge. Under the bridge? There's lots of bridges I don't think in our killer took a plane ride to Prague. This is a murder portrait, and our killer hasn't used it yet. That must be the Charles Bridge. Bridge, okay. Cool. So, let's see, we'll go back to his computer. I'm gonna sneeze, I'm sorry everyone. <coughs> I am so sorry. Let's see. Bridge, Chicago, Prague. So Chicago has the privilege of having the largest Czech community in America. A somewhat large community has helped village Chicago. Um, Okay, are we done? Check community for their hard work in helping build one of America's greatest cities. The monument is in fact a bridge. It's going to be a somewhat smaller replica of the Charles Bridge in Prague. Construction of the bridge begins in May of this year. The bridge will be named Tominova. That's it. That's gotta be it. Hmm. Vladania Tominova. Okay, so we'll go to the bridge. That's right there by like. Here we go. Never driven in Chicago, but that's what it's like just driving from one place to the other. 
I did nothing but take Ubers when I was there because I wasn't driving in that shit. And I'm so glad I did. Let them deal with it. Oh, damn. Are we not going to know who it was? Hang on, that can't be right. If this is the ending, I'm really PO'd. <laughs> Music's very Batman. Excuse me. This better tell me who did it. Boom! Wait, is that Mia? I can't tell if that's me or uh, it's hard to tell. If... The scoopers are divers. Okay, so that was Mia. show it, because if you don't, I'm going to be so pissed. way. Everyone worked on this. They all deserve credit. Patience, Kate. <laughs>
This better have like an end scene. There we go, maybe? If that's it, I am furious. <laughs> don't be, we don't know what happened yet. <laughs> it was the penguin the whole time. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, thank God, fuck. Okay. Hello? Hello, sweetie. I heard that you were released from the hospital. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Did they find the body? No, not yet. They're still dragging the riverbed and diving. I want closure too. I got my tickets for LA. You still think you're gonna find answers over there? You got him, sweetie. It's over. Not for me. Claire, I'm gonna have to let you go. We're gonna rest for a while. Okay, I'll drop by later and see how you're doing. Okay, bye. That's infuriating. It really fucking is. So, um, I know there's a sequel. I'm gonna have to play it. The sequel better bring me some closure to this story. Holy fucking shit. So, um, that being said, I guess we'll leave this one here and we'll continue on with Still Life in the next one. Still Life 2 in the next one. Okay. I liked the game. Don't get me wrong. It was a good game. I don't like the way it ended. I really don't. I think if it was something like that, it definitely needed like some kind of suspense to say, hey, I'm still here. Obviously, whoever it was has gotten away. Moving on. There's just... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to play Still Life 2, so, which I figured I would anyway, I already have it. So, we will do that next time. So, in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to chomp down on that like button. If you did like it, leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. I will see you all in the next one. God damn it. <laughs>